these things, Karis had forged the tools that he would use to bring the Builder's Paradise to the world. The Builder looked upon these tools as Karis made preparations to put them to use, and his gaze showed favor, and Karis felt the Builder's hands upon him and the Builder's strength helping Karis carry his burdens. Karis guy's lost his mind. Now once that's done, a unique AI shows up. The Golden Child. You see him. For Karis' sake, is there someone there? He's almost impossible to ghost. What happens is you can wait. He makes that pointing motion before he's seen anything. But you can wait nine hours and he'll slowly drift down the hall and to his right. That means that in addition to waiting the nine hours on itself, you have to set objects in each of the two windows in order to deflect him around the windows so that over the course of the nine to ten hours he can drift all the way down the hall and you can slip out behind him. I'm just gonna use an invisibility potion. <laughs> I'm gonna drop. What shadow passed my view? Drop the key back. Back on the his patrol path. Do and call it good. But there's, <clears throat> there's the spot where you have to bust Supreme because you either have to stack objects and exploit the engine, or you have to use an invisibility potion. I'll take the chemical success. Thank you very much. As you can see, we've ticked off our objective to find and read Karis's latest entry into the new scripture of the Master Builder. <coughs> so, good. Follow him down this hall as well. We get right here. It's a good place to wait. And I guess I should say that his key was our 20th of 24 pickpockets. There are only four to go. And there's the Wanderer. <laughs> Open this. Looks like an empty closet, but you have to get in here. Hit this switch on the door frame. That's the seventh and final secret, and it's something important. The trigger control for wall safe alarm. Let's turn that off. We'll have to come and turn it back on for supreme mode, but... Head into this side room. Pick this chest open for a little bit of loot. It's a plate. It brings our total to 2548. Now head back into the kitchen. Wait until you see the patrolling servant, open this door and leave, and then we'll follow it into the dining room. So, wait in this corner for the servant to leave the dining room again, and then we're going to run in there and get the loot and another recording. Our window here is obviously quite small, but we can get inside. Get the wine and the goblet, which bring our total to 2623. Get to this corner and listen to recording four. Message number four of six. 
So, the next thing to do, first we have to get out of this room, so I'm going to wait until the servant comes back and then follow right on its tail because the window is so short. I'm going to bounce down to the third floor and listen to the fifth recording. There's food in here if you're interested in that. Did you see something? Be more alert. Now, once the servant is back in the dining room, we'll head to the kitchen and take the vents back down to the third floor. What noise there? Aha! I welcome. Oops. Let's just be fast and get to the corner, and I think we should be fine. What noise then? It softly calls. Paris, your mind. See if someone is there. Oh yeah, let's read this note. Brethren. Oh, it's a copy of the one from the second floor. Despite what it says about the office guard changing. That's just a filthy lie. It never changes. The guy just stays there. You can't... You can't cleverly wait three hours and then be set. Hopefully no one will hear this. Good. I need to get to the gallery, which isn't that hard. The gallery is that metal room straight ahead of us. <coughs> it's not very hard to get to. We just need to get back to the vents and get back Come to the into fifth the light. floor. Stop thy fluttering. Okay. I wondered where he was. <clears throat> so we should be able to just tail him and get to the elevator door or to the vents. And shoot back up to the fifth floor. Garrett was actually completely silent that time. Good job, boss. 
Now the kitchen is the easiest exit. We're almost done here. There's just a little loot to grab. But there's... Follow the servant out of the room. There's not a lot to do until we get the key to Karis's office. Which Vilnia has. No, I don't know that you can cross any of these hallways without first alerts, but... Let's read this. Master guest list. Dorcas Goodfellow in attendance. Lord Bafford! There he is again, in attendance. All the way back from Lord Bafford's Manor in first mission in Thief Gold. Madame Denier, declined invitation. Pagan sympathizer? Lord Gervasius in attendance. He'll become important later in this game, but he also made a brief appearance in Thief Gold as the guy selling the commission in the Lost City to find ancient masks. Ramirez, no response. Ramirez, of course, is the guy we stole from in Assassins, also in Thief Gold. Sir Christopher in attendance. Marie Eleonora in attendance. We heard from Christopher earlier. He was the guy making all the stupid puns. Archduke de Moore in attendance. Pernilius Pennybuckle Esquire in attendance. Master Willie in attendance, but quietly escorted off tower grounds. Wanton drunkenness. Well, it looks like Lady Van Vernon's archers had a point, too. Apparently, Master Willie is quite the alcoholic. Duchess Alexandra Kuranoff in attendance. Lady Louisa in attendance. We snuck through her suite. We had to nudge. If she's here, I guess they're just some of her servants. Squire Shaughness declined. Touring with the city's Rumpleball League. Lady Van Vernon in attendance. Obviously, we know that she's quite the slut, and <laughs> her, her guards were nonetheless fighting to defend her honor. Joseph Fieldstone in attendance. We stole from the Fieldstone estate. That's out there in the city. The Bumblesons, Winifred and Archibald, in attendance. Of course, they're the ones that the Rothschilds were so upset were invited when they were not. Thistlewell, in attendance. Avel de Ravencourt, in attendance. The Rothschilds, Frederick and Penelope, no response. Misplaced invitation. Oh, how sad. Frederick was invited after all. He just didn't know it. Sir McAllister Crom, in attendance. Brandy Ridge in attendance, Madame Robillard in attendance, Lord Carlisle in attendance, retired early, so that's how we can get the Carlisle Armory key out of his room, Lord and Lady Rumford in attendance, you remember we stole from Lady Rumford in the first mission of this game, Sir Allard McCrellis in attendance, Bandley Rothtoffer declined on Holiday in Shalebridge. There we go. So over here, there are two cups and a purse. Our loot total is now 2688, hmm, something. and that's the 21st of 24 pickpockets. One other thing to do, get down this hallway. If someone is there, then show thyself. Who's there? I don't know why Hello? I missed this earlier. But we need to get this pickpocket. Brings our total to 2693, and it's the 22nd of 24 pickpockets. Now we just need to get to the sixth floor. Come into the light so that I'm. There's no handy ladder for that task. We're gonna have to get to the main stairs. For Karis' sake, is there someone there? Okay, let's just let's just wait out of sight until he turns all the way around. Let me take a minute just to make sure my tracking of my pickpockets is right. Obviously, that's going to instantly fail the mission. Yes, good. 22 picks, all the secrets, most of the loot, good. We need to get across this hall. Wait for him to settle. Head this way to get to the main stairs. And we will take them up to the sixth floor, the ballroom. <clears throat> We're almost done, but we do still have to break into Karis's office, and that's pretty hard. Open this up. Now you'll notice a few things. But the 
most important are that you can turn off the lights, but I don't actually think there's any need to. Let's get the last of the loot first. There are three coins in the fountain. We should just be able to creep over there and get them. We'll get first alerts, but I don't care. Good news, of course. Buddy Robot there is blind unless we make noise. So creep around here. There's one. Two. Three pairs of coins in the water. Bring our total to 2753. We'll creep, we'll creep back out of the fountain as long as no one has second alerted. back on this nice wooden edge. I'm going to do a real save with that done. Now I'm going to go after this purse. Which again I don't think should be too terrible but let's just creep up behind him. Shouldn't matter that the lights are on. think we can get it without triggering hunt mode. <coughs> there we go. That's the 23rd of 24 pickpockets. Brings our loot total to 2853. <sighs> That's all of it. The last pickpocket is Vilnia's key, which will get us into Karis's mm -hmm. office. <laughs> What? If I see one rat, I will just scream. If we tr can just trigger her conversation, she'll head down to the fifth floor and it'll be much easier to get her key. Hmm, I thought I saw something. But I'm gonna have to get pretty close to her one way or another. Let's go the other way. I wonder if there's a... But a breeze and nothing more. Let's go the other way and try to approach her that way. <laughs> She's actually qu much easier to steal from once she goes down to the fifth floor, so. And that will be the final pickpocket, and it'll set us up to finish the mission. Let's head over here. Just stay quiet when you get near the robot. slow it down to a walk, you don't have to do the gradual creep. This is quiet enough. So let's trigger the conversation first. So Vilnia gets sent downstairs. I will vanquish thy enemies. I will tear thy foes into pieces. I long for the battle to begin. Message number six of six. It is here that our evening ends. Enjoy thee the music and dance if thou wilt. And tomorrow, when thou dost return home, your servants will be waiting for thee. Yes, they travel on their own. Indeed, on occasion, they will leave your home to response to a device I call the Guiding Beacon and return to us for but small adjustments. Upon their return to your homes, better servants they'll be. I apologize yet again for my absence tonight, noble friends. Fare thee well. The word of Paris compels me. So with that, we have activated all the voice machines and heard Karis' messages. So let's 
Hopefully we can creep up close enough to trigger the conversation. The sake, what was that? Without triggering hunt mode. These are strange times indeed, when the Builder's Chosen must cater to the folly of the unworthy. Giving these servants as gifts. Dost thou doubt the wisdom of Karis? Perhaps he should know of thy insubordination. Are you thanks to me? Master Karras has the ability to control them himself wheresoever he be. In the end, they shall serve the will of the Builder. Ah, yes. The rust gas. It's just that they look so very weak, so unlike weapons. Yes, they do. The better to serve our purposes. For now, our task is to make these fools happy. So stay that alert, but remain friendly. I shall be back in due time. So actually, we can just cross the room during the conversation, wait here, and nab her key as she passes. And we can leave it anywhere on her patrol path. So let's just snag it as she passes through there. That's the final pickpocket. We've got the key to Karis's office. So... With our invisibility potions burned, this will definitely be the hardest part of the mission. This is another place where you've really got no choice but to bust Supreme, unfortunately. Because no matter what, when you open the office door, the guard will first alert. Now we have to pick a direction from which to creep up on him. This way is probably the best. The issue is that we don't have a lot of time. And we're going to have to nudge him in order to successfully get into the office. Surely thou didst see that oh, too. It was surely see. just moss in mine eyes. So we gotta nudge him enough to get through the door. Oh! Stop the treachery! I crush Oh, but somebody else came. I hope she doesn't bump into me here. What was that? Only to the tune of a first alert, but she was st stuck on me too, so... Didst thou see that shadow move? Let's go over here. All is quiet once more. Thanks be to Karras. Let me watch him more closely. Okay, once he heads into that library, that's when we want to get over there. Thou didst see that too. <laughs> you do want to block, so so only one of these doors opens. Was just the sweet pingings of a boiler, most probably. And then, loyalty is the fuel. It's a burns away it's a tense moment trying to nudge him out of the, the way fast enough. Callus. You can see he's barely moving. Mm 
bespeak- And just as we squeaked through, of course. Surely thou didst see that too. <coughs> Rats, all filthy and unholy rot. Surely that's all it was. One other thing we do have to be careful of is that <clears throat> once we do get through, the floor is metal. Didn't move fast enough. <laughs> hmm. What shadow passed my view? The wind plays tricks on me today. Come the on. saplings did Come so on. unnatural prance that we feared of the forms most unholy wrought, and did falter and take flight till he that his caress did raise up against them, that we won and cease the ah! I All right. I don't think I have a choice. I'm gonna have to use a boss arrow. Which is not that bad, all things considered. That way, hopefully, we can get through here in time. And stay quiet in doing so. Now, for the purposes of our escape, we want to leave the, the door just like it is. We want to leave one half closed and one half open. There's a voice machine here. Let's listen to it. Greeting, Gareth. Thou art expected, though not precisely welcomed. Seem not so surprised. I have anticipated thine arrival, just as I now anticipate thy departure. <laughs> Art thou a religious man? It is time to say thy prayers. Thy sins will be thine own undoing. Or so he thinks, but we found the secret to deactivate the alarm on the wall safe. So. We just need to hit this button. Grab the schematics. We can't reclose the wall safe. Here we go. So we got some stuff. Can't really tell what it is. Project Cetus Amicus, number 41X.E7. Chief Engineer, Karis, page 1 of 21, site Markham's Isle, Supervisor Cavador. And that, of course, is break into Karis's ob office and find some information on the Cetus project. So, let's find the office key. Let's slip out of here and close and lock the door behind us. Hmm. What shadow passed my view? It raised us up. Get back to the staircase. We're now on Vilnius patrol routes. So that's a fine place to drop the office key. I wonder, I think the alarm might go off if I go and turn it back on, but let's find out just to be sure. If someone is there, then show thyself. Oh, no, we're good. I don't know how the switch flipped back to on, but it's already the way it was, so we can just get out of here. Let's 
so. What do I see there? I think the kitchen is probably the easiest way breeze. down. So. I'd better get some rest. Let's just bust through this zone. There's nothing left I need to return, nothing I need to put back. So we just need to escape. Hmm, thought I saw something. I don't care. Hmm. Must have been rats. See if someone is there. Once we're back here, we can get all the way back to the access hatch. Get that last alert from that clang. Just a first alert, that's fine with me. Let's get on out of here, same way we came in. Oh, gee, you can mantle up out of there. The good news is, nobody there can hear us. Now I'm a little worried about heading back through Lady Louisa's. Just because I think some of them might have turned around as they're wont to do. <sighs> Hopefully we'll be okay getting through here. Alright, yep. Drunk guard, drunk guard. He can hear us once we get about here, so... <sighs> this is gravel, so we have to be quiet, but the nice thing is we can get straight off the ladder. <sighs> and I think we can slide down here without damage. We can. Just like that, we arrive back at Lady Louisa's. Let's hope we can get back through. Oh yeah, this is what I was worried about. As you can see, she has turned around while we were gone. But I think hmm? I should still be able to creep by along the Someone outside there? wall. Only first alerts. So far, so good. <coughs> Lady in green is fine. What's that? Speak. Good. I have no more to be okay, good. I can get through with only first alerts. That's fine with me. Let's keep going. Now the quickest way back, I think is probably, well, except I can't go through the Sheminov estate, because I can't destroy those boards. <clears throat> Hello? Someone there? But I can go through it and avoid going through the bank and messing with False those alarm, guys. I guess. Definitely preferable. Only first alert. So yeah, I'm gonna go through the Sheminov estate again. I don't know where he is, so I'll wait here till I see the archer. Once he's upstairs, we'll sneak back through the kitchen and climb up the chimney. We'll get first alerts from her. 
Don't care. That's odd. I must be getting sleepy. Pop out of here. Pop over to Just the tower. Again. I've completely what stopped caring see? about first alerts, if that wasn't obvious. As long as no one hunt alerts, I don't care. Now, if we were able to destroy the boards, we could get back to the bell tower really fast, but that option is not available to us because that would bust our ghost. So, let's just slide down the cat. There's someone, someone there. there. Oh, Garrett, really? I swear. Guy's an idiot. There we go. Again, best thing is just to hop over onto the dirt itself. They won't hear that. Can get to this edge silently, which is good. And I want to get to the top of this tower at Sir Cullen's. Get back onto these roofs and head over this way. Back to the Fieldstone Estate. No one's around. Get into these nice inner shadows. These fancy gadgets around here. I can't get a simple mug of coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. Let this guy pass. We want to head over there. To this ledge. I think we can just run down to this one. Oh, Garrett, you're killing me, man. You're killing me. No one heard it good enough for me. Now, the way we want to get back through, I think the best thing we can do is. Go through this little hallway. Because, oh, my shutters disappeared. Oh well. One of Master Willie's guys survived. But I think we can get in behind him. I think that's what we want to do. Because he faces down on the, uh, across from Castle Van Vernon certainly don't want him to see us. So I think coming out behind him, like we just did, is our best option. Drop down silently with no damage. Now we're almost back. Just roll over here. Head up this ladder. We can skip that patroller altogether. We just head down this way. <sighs> just gotta be careful of the careful to make of making noise. Keeper still watching. Head back over the metal. Finally, we're back at the bell tower. That's it! That's life of the party! By far my favorite mission in Thief 2, probably my favorite mission in any of the first two games. It's just awesome. Love it. It's huge, it's challenging, there's lots to do, it's totally non-linear, there are tons of ways to go. 
However, it is very difficult to ghost. It's absolutely impossible to Supreme Ghost. I won't even bother counting the first alerts. There are first alerts you have to take. I think the only one you absolutely have to take is uh, when you open Karis's office. The sound of the door opening and closing will alert the guard no matter what. But on top of that, you have to nudge him in order to get through that bus supreme. You have to... in When you get the new scripture of the Master Builder, you either have to use an engine exploit or you have to take a potion to get by the Golden Child. So that's another forced supreme bust. That may be it as far as forced busts go. I wasn't inclined to experiment too much with the other areas just because I knew it was impossible to get the mission. And I guess I'm sort of an all or nothing kind of guy. But So what we ended up with was a chemical success ghost and a chemical perfect thief. We used the two invisibility potions to get the statues on the first floor of Angel Watch and to get by the Golden Child. Like I said, it's possible to have a normal success and not a chemical success. That involves, you have to skip the loot on the first floor, and you have to use some object stacking and a 10 hour wait to get by the Golden Child without using an invisibility potion. I don't think any of you wanted to sit through another 10 hour wait, so I just sucked it up and took the potion. I will take a chemical success. Let's look at the stats. Two hours, one minute, 41 seconds. 2853 loot out of 2853. 24 out of 25 picks. That's just the omnipresent Thief 2 bug. Nine locks picked. No backstabs or knockouts. No damage dealt or taken. No healing taken. Nothing and no one killed. No iron beasts destroyed or disabled. Seven out of seven secrets. Campaign so far, 12 hours, 27 minutes, 58 seconds. 18,814 loot. 8 damage dealt, 8 knockouts in running interference, and 0 damage received. With that, I am going to save it here, and I will see you all next time for Precious Cargo. Bye-bye.